Hey everyone, my name is Josh. I'm a design engineer here at Niantic and 8th Wall, and I'm going to lead you all on a tutorial on how to use face effects with our new studio product. So I'm here on the 8th Wall homepage. I'm going to navigate to our project library, which is a great repository for template projects to start off with so you don't have to code everything from scratch. And today we're going to be going through the studio face effects sample project. So I'm just going to click it on here. You can clone this into your workspace to work on it. For me, I'm going to select our 8th Wall team workspace, but you would select the one you're working on. Project name, I'm going to name this tutorial face. And license type, feel free to select any of these, usually not commercial if it's not a commercial project. I'm a fan of demo or non-commercial, and we're going to do demo for this one. Click create, and it's going to take a few seconds to duplicate that project into your workspace. Cool. Now it's spawned. We have this lovely, lovely face here with these cool 3D glasses. And what I want to do here is we're just going to click play in our simulator without me changing anything in this project. So I'm going to click play in the top uh, right corner here. And this is going to launch our simulator, which is a way to preview your AR experiences without having to leave your computer, which I find super useful for iteration and just my workflow in general. What you want to do is you want to change the clip from the world tracking sidewalk clip to the people clips and I like to use the expressions one you can feel free to choose another one but we have our lovely model Ava here um, testing out our experience and she's gonna be wearing these glasses that are tracked to her face. Let's do one with a bit more head motion so we can see the glasses actually being tracked and yeah looking pretty good and we got some classy tattoos as well. Cool. So the first thing I'm going to do is really show you how to edit and create your own face filters. For example, maybe I don't want 3D glasses anymore. I want to change these colors of these lenses. What I can do is just select the lenses here in the hierarchy. For example, the red lens on the left here. I can go to its material here and then specter on the right. Click on color and change it to, oh, I don't know, purple. Purple's nice. And then I can go to the blue lens here on the right. Same, go to its material, color, and let's change it to yellow for complementary colors. Let's see, is that good? That, that, that's an okay yellow. And all we have to do is build and save. Wait for it to build. Great, and now we can click play again in the simulator, and Ava should be wearing our new purple and yellow glasses now. Nice, looking sharp, Ava. Cool. So, what if, what if you know, you're like, well, I, I don't want, uh, I don't like how these glasses look. You know, uh, they're too, um, you know, cheesy, gimmicky looking, and I want some stylish glasses for Ava. I think Ava deserves stylish glasses. So what I can do here is go to Poly Pizza, which is one of my favorite low poly model repositories, and we're gonna look for some glasses. Nice, these pixel glasses look great. We're gonna download these in GLB. Attribution-wise, these are pixel glasses by iPoly3D. And now we have that in my downloads, and what I can do is just drag them in to my asset folder here, and there they are. And really easily, I'm just dragging them into the scene, and they're way back there. <laughs> no worries, to solve this issue, we can just drag it under our face mesh, and in particular, the nose bridge attachment point, which is on the nose bridge here. Uh, we're going to select this and zero out the transforms to get that you know, close. <laughs> there we go. They're huge though. So let's turn the scale down a bit. 0.7 maybe looks good. And then we can use the transforms here to do some more granular tweaking. <laughs> that was pretty funny. You know, the, this is funny. I, I like how, these, how big these are. 
Cool, so that, that looks pretty good. You just wanna make sure it's a child of the face, at least. That's what anchors it to the face. And for more specific attachment points to anchor it to those. So we're gonna build and save. Wait a moment, we're gonna click play. And if everything was good, great. There we go, Ava with her classy, classy video game sunglasses, looking so good. And yeah, I mean, this was a brief intro to face effects. You can add hats, you know, makeup. You can, you can even do interactive face filter games with a bit more programming. Um, there's so much you can do with face effects and you can even change the UV textures on the face. That's how we're doing the tattoos here to create masks or other tattoos or stamps and stuff like that. Last thing I'll note is to enable this feature in our studio project. You just want to make sure the camera is the face camera and not the world or the 3D camera. And to make sure you have a face object in your scene, which is done by clicking the plus here and adding the face if you don't have one already. With that, I'm going to leave it up to you. Looking forward to all the experiences you make. And thank you so much for watching.